Ryan Kuhn and Joey Dwyer and lead the field to green. Green flag is out for the 51st annual Oxford 250. Ryan Kuhn going to take the lead down the back straight away. Joey Dwyer and see if he can get down in front of Eddie McDonald. He can and looks like Kuhn is going to lead the first lap. And there's so many guys in this field. You think about Joey Dwyer and uh, Derek Griffith, DJ Shaw, Bubba Pollard, Trevor Sanborn, I mean, Cassius Clark. I mean, there are so many guys that can win this race. See if Pollard gets down here. Whoa, and a couple cars together here on the front straight away. And again, Kyle Salami going to go around. And the caution's going to wave. Tim Brackett also spun. Hey, Ray, about it is it looks like the caution's out. I have to see what the issue may be. Looks like uh, some rain. Oh, man. finally hit the track. Nine laps away from halfway, and that weather is here, and we'll have to see what happens with it. If the Joey Dwyer, the leader inside of row number one, Derek Griffith to his outside, the two principals who battled it out here in the Celebration of America 300. Green flag is out, and look like Benjamin may have spun the tires there on the bottom on that restart. But he's bounced back nicely. Tim Brackett very slow out there. I think he's going to be able to get his car back in as Dwyer goes back up front. Derek Griffith in the second. Whoa, and we got some big problems here on the front straightaway. Cars all over the place. Major accident here on the front straightaway. Looks like the 14 of Josh St. Clair, Dave Farrington in the 23. Big time damage there on the right side of Kate Ray's car number 10. Dominic Curick caught up as well in the five down in turn three. And remember that celebration of America 300 as we got some cars, several cars. Whoa, big problems there for the one of Brandon Varney. Saw that car bounce up in the air. He's still spinning out there. DJ Shaw going to look up the, the outside of Moltz. I think he thinks that Griffith is holding him up a little bit. He's going to go to the outside. And what a comeback for DJ Shaw after being a lap down, it seems like, just a few minutes ago. He led at the stripe, takes it wide into turn one, exits out of turn two. He takes the lead as they go back to three. Here they come back for a restart. Two Dale Shaw race car Fords up front. Green flag is out. Not a good start at all for Joey Dwyer, and he's got a problem. He's lost a lot of spots there in the seven car. He's continuing to drop back. Now Jimmy Renfro out in the grass over on the back straightaway. He hit the wall, which is way off the racetrack here. We continue, and we'll keep an eye on Joey Dwyer to see what's going on. Shaw going to take the lead. Gabe Brown in second. Battle for third. As Scott McDaniel down the inside of Garrett Hall. Whoa, and way off the racetrack is going to go Josh St. Clair. And caution out again. Oh, and I'm seeing what Joey Dwyer's issue is now. He just ran up into Dylan Moltz. Garrett Hall spins. All sorts of chaos right now with 63 laps to go in the 250. Sticks the nose down the inside. A uh, Gabe Brown, they made contact. Now Taylor's going to get a good run here to the inside of Brown again, going to turn three. Jeff Taylor a few years ago came close to winning. Finally, the Oxford 250. He had the dominant car, but came up short on pit strategy and ended up not taking that elusive win. We said he's won 78 times here, but... He may trade them all for one Oxford 250 win. He's really got that car handling now. He gets the nose down the inside of Gabe Brown. Brown overcooks at the end of the turn, and I think Pollard thought he was going to do that. Looked like Pollard backed off just a little bit. And now he'll move up into third. Three Wiley veterans. Two with a lot of experience here, and Bubba Pollard not so much, but he's had a lot of experience here in this 250 since winning back in 2018. 
Best shot he's had since then. At the stripe, Taylor scored as the leader. Can he complete the pass out of turn number two? And there you see the crew cheering him on. And DJ Shaw sitting there, got to be shaking his head, saying, are you kidding me? Not again. He's going to battle back on the inside. Now, what can Pollard do with Shaw? They're catching the lap traffic. These cars on the tail end of the lead lap. Pollard going to go way wide into turn one, and that arc's exactly what he needed to get the momentum to power past DJ Shaw. Now, now Pollard goes live. This is what he's been doing all night long up to the outside of Jeff Taylor. Here they come this time back for 11 laps to go. Jeff Taylor, the 78 time Oxford Plains winner, nine time champion looking for his first 250 win. And Bubba Pollard looking for his second. 10 laps to go here in the 2024 Oxford 250. Back to turn one. Taylor's fought off one challenge. But you know Pollard's gonna come after him again. Here though, white flag in the air. One more lap to go for Jeff Taylor as he leads through turns one and two. Just like Dale Earnhardt in the Daytona 500 after so many years of trying. Can you believe it? The fans are on their feet. The crew is clapping. And Jeff Taylor is going to win the 51st annual Oxford 250. Bubba Pollard will finish in second. DJ Shaw in third. It's been so long, Jeff. How did you finally pull off the Oxford 250? Uh, I honestly don't know. I mean, obviously we don't race at all. Um, and I really can't even believe it. So the halfway break rain obviously helped that guy uh, a ton. Uh, and there's just so many people through the years that, that helped and didn't get to see this, you know. and. And the people that helped today, we throw together a team of people that, you know, just volunteers and and just throw together a team, you know, and and to come out and, and on day one of racing this year and win the biggest race that I've never won against people that's raced all year is just unbelievable.